All right, this is how we're gonna do this. I remember the Keep Track Week categories. I remember the first one was tips. That's today's video. I don't remember all the counts. You know, California happened in June. That's when I was counting, like the first week in June. So I'm gonna put the numbers on the screen because I can do that later when I go back and edit. So you'll see the numbers on the screen and I'm gonna give my prediction as to what I think it is. Uh, California, Vegas, and Iowa. So even though it's after everything happened, I'm still gonna be predicting because I don't remember what the numbers are. And then at the end of the video, I will look at my phone. I took a picture of my Word document and uh, that has all the information on it. I'll look down at my phone and uh, there will be a revelation as to whether I got my prediction correct. So first one, uh, let's go over here. So there's some room on the screen for the stats. Tips, California, Vegas, and Council Bluffs. I expect Lake Elsinore is the city in California. I expect Vegas to be the least, and I expect California and Council Bluffs to be similar, like tied for first, both beating Vegas. The reason, one reason is way more hands in Vegas than the other two cities. Someone raises pre-flop and everyone folds. Those hands in Vegas happen a lot, and they also rarely get tipped. They don't happen that much in the other cities, and in the other cities when they happen, they often get a tip because people, you know, it's a, a lot of locals, uh, very few tourists in those cities, so you know, you're like, every day you go to play, you see the same employees, you see the same dealers, and that like camaraderie, or at least, you know, knowing the people, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the small pots get tipped. Also, for that same reason, just everything. The medium-sized pots often get $2 tips, where in Vegas they would get $1, and all in to get some really big tips. Uh, I, I've seen like 20, $30 tips in uh, California, in Council Bluffs. Not that Maryland was part of the count, but I remember the Horseshoe Baltimore seeing tips like bigger than $40 on some big promos or some big uh, all in sometimes. So I expect California and Council Bluffs to be very similar, but both well ahead of Vegas. Let me look at my phone and see what the numbers are. All right, $227 in California, 175, so California did beat Vegas by a lot, and 177 in Council Bluffs. So Council Bluffs and Vegas, California was the most, I kinda got that right. Council Bluffs and Vegas were very similar, that's strange. I'm trying to remember the day in Council Bluffs. Um, I actually remember the day in California, the guy on my right wasn't tipping that much. He was tipping the waitress, he wasn't tipping on any of the poker hands. And I thought that might kind of mess up the, the true count, and it didn't. I, I don't remember something like that happening in Council Bluffs, but I guess it did. So, small sample, all these things small sample, I mean anything could happen, but kind of got it right. California beat Vegas by a lot. The kind of weird one that I didn't expect was, uh, Council Bluffs to, to be just about the same as Vegas. I think if I did this many, many iterations, California might be a little less, maybe like 215, and Council Bluffs would be right around there, 215, and Vegas would be the same around 175, but whatever. Uh, just five hours each place, and that's what it was. So my prediction was kind of off. I got kind of two of the three cities correct, and uh, one of them I didn't. Tomorrow, the next one, hands per hour. And remember, rice is a spoon food.